Welcome to Weber Math. I'm Nicholas Weber. Last November, I showed you guys two great Excel resources that you can look at, Shandu.org and Francis Hayes, The Excel Addict. Going back through some of the Excel Addict's old newsletters, I found some a great tip that I wanted to share with you today. If you have a row that has numeric values as your header, so for example, if you've got years, and then you auto sum those columns with the years at the top, oftentimes Excel will pull that year and add it into your total or the average and just generally create havoc. Not good. So there's a great way of overcoming that by formatting it as a text, but it's much easier to see in action than just hear about it talking about it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here's the problem. We've got annual sales here and then we want to find out what the totals are. So to do that, all you have to do is just highlight these areas, these cells, and hit the Auto Sum button. But when you do so, you'll find out that something is very wrong. You can tell by just glancing at these figures that the total sales should be somewhere between $500 and $600 or so. But if we look down here, we somehow ended up with more than two thousand dollars worth of sales and you probably already guessed the problem excel when it auto summed summed in the year value as well so to fix this all you have to do is format these values as text and then re-enter them so excel recognizes them as text and it will no longer bother your formula so all you have to do is highlight the whole row by clicking here then you go up to here in the formatting tab and then select text. Now you'll notice our formulas haven't changed. The problem is, is it, it doesn't know that it's been re-entered yet. So to do this, all you have to do is go to the cell, hit F2 to enter the cell, and then hit enter to format it. And then if you do that here, I'm just hitting F2 and then enter, you'll see that the totals are now correct. So that's great. Also, too, at this point, you can go ahead and uh, you could have adjusted the formula, but this is just a nice way to ensure when you update formulas later that these don't get thrown in again as text. Or what I could have done to start with is format this whole row as text and then enter the values. Then I wouldn't have had to go back and do this. Thanks so much for watching. I really encourage you to check out the Excel Addicts webpage and sign up for his newsletter. Again, lots of great stuff there. There's a link in the About section below. And if you'd like more information about me, VBA, or Excel, check out my website, www.webermath.com. Until next time, take care.